Hello P6ers, welcome to Literacy on Thursday the 18th of March. So what is in store for today? Well, to start off, it's phonics, and for today's activity on a Thursday, we practice spelling the more difficult words from your words for sorting page ahead of tomorrow's dictation. And Bug Club, don't forget to log into Bug Club to do your daily reading. And if you finish your Bug Club book, then make sure you do some reading of yourself for at least 10 or 15 minutes. So what is our main activity for today? Well, do you remember a few months ago, we used a picture prompt of first flight of how a baby owl was learning how to fly and you came up with some fantastic and creative ideas and we then wrote a story. Well, that was so successful and you did such brilliant stories, we thought we'd do something similar. So, have a look at that picture. What immediately comes to mind is happening there. So you download the page and it will be used to help you get some ideas for what you can do is write a story on Friday about what you think is happening in this picture, which is called Pegged. So download the page and you can answer questions or give you ideas. So firstly, what's happening in the picture? Give the creatures names. Why does the purple creature have a peg on its nose? Its cheeks are bulging. What is the large character? Is it an ogre? Is it a troll? Is it a friendly? Why does he have his foot in a bowl? How is he feeling? Why? Why are there flies around him? Which character do you like the most and why? And then what are the characters thinking? What are they saying? So there's a chance to add some thought bubbles to this picture. Which character can you best relate to? So not necessarily the character you like, but which character can you best relate to? And then, as we said, the picture is titled Pegged. Why is it called Pegged? And then for your story, you're going to give it a new title. What would you title your new story and explain your choice? So the idea is for you to look at this picture, let your imagination flow and come up with lots of fantastic creative ideas in preparation for a story that you are going to write on Friday. So today's task is just to look at the picture and answer these 13 questions, being very creative, using your imagination. And I know you're all brilliant at that. And then of course, email the pages through to your teacher. They would love to share your ideas and see what ideas you're going to come up for your story. Then, of course, Play Live. There's only two more days to get on the Play Live leaderboard. And I know lots of the pupils who have been in school have been finding their way onto the leaderboard. So maybe this is your chance to get onto the leaderboard, maybe even be top of the leaderboard. So the Play Live Literacy. And then there is a fun activity to finish. So have a good day. Enjoy thinking of lots of different ideas for your story.